There's a lovely John Butler quote, art can't change the world, but art can change people and people can change the world. This project is called Area of the Anthropocene. So the Anthropocene is, is the age we now live in, it's the age of man. It's a photography project documenting air pollution around the world through photography, visualising air pollution levels in photographs. The funding was key to kickstarting the project. So the National Free funded a travel grant for the initial residencies. I spent three months in Birmingham learning about air pollution. So if I hadn't had that funding, I wouldn't have been able to get started really on the project. Air pollution is the leading environmental risk factor in the UK and actually globally as well. And so that's why I was really excited to work with Robin to actually translate that science into something that the general public could see, get excited by and work with. This is the low-cost sensor that Francis sent me from the University of Birmingham. It's sucking in air through the front, uh, shining a tiny laser through that air, and then whatever particles of air pollution are in there, they're reflecting some of that laser light onto a little sensor, and then that can both tell you the size of the particles and the number of particles. And that information travels digitally down this cable, and it's turning it into interruptions for the LEDs. So the more pollution this detects, the more often the LEDs twinkle on and the more particles of light are painted into the final photograph. What Robin's paintings do is they kind of shock people into thinking about it and it creates those places and spaces of discussions. The scientists was key to the project. It was a real privilege to meet Francis and work with him. Art is a very universal language, whereas science is a more bespoke language, and so that artistic translation of science really brings a message to many more people than, than my papers, my graphs will ever do. So I think it's super important to think of these new ways to engage the public. Off the back of the first trip, I met early career researchers, environmental scientists, who were then planning other projects. They'd seen what I'd done in, in Delhi, and they're like, that's interesting, can we get you over to Mexico? Off the back of those two, Francis was able to get me to Nairobi, which is where the UN Environment Assembly was taking place. Then I met someone from the UN. They liked the project, and then I like, will get you over to Kampala to go and take some more photographs. So sort of each time I went and took the photographs, you network with other scientists and, and uh, policy people, and it sort of snowballed. There's a lovely John Butler quote, art can't change the world, but art can change people, and people can change the world. And I think that's the sort of perspective that I take on it.